What's going on everybody? My name's Derek and welcome to the Tiny Raptor Farm. What's going on everybody? Welcome back and if you're new here, welcome. Now today we're going to learn all about Flemish Giant Rabbits. As much as I could possibly tell you, just like I did with the Jersey Giant chickens, I'm going to do the same thing with the rabbits. So let's get started. Now even though Flemish Giant Rabbits are not very hard to take care of, they do however need a little more attention than your normal everyday household rabbit. Now, if you, these guys aren't taken care of properly, they could be prone to stuff like sore hocks, obesity, and rabbit snuffles. Now, sore hocks is an irritation specifically on the back feet, which can, can become infected and it could damage the outer tissues as well as the inner tissues of the feet. The ear snuffles is a bacterial infection which could cause ear, balance, and dental problems. <laughs> Now, although these rabbits are friendly, they can become a little aggressive if they're mishandled. If you pick them up or hold them for too long or you pick them up aggressively, they can become aggressive themselves. Now, this is Thumper. This is the male. He can get up to 22 pounds. And this is Sugar. This is the mom. She can get up to 20 pounds. Look how big that baby is. Now, I'm not going to go into details about how to sex these rabbits because... I already got a video on here the showing about how to sex them, so I'm not going to get into details about that. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the, the, the video down in the description section. But for right now, we're going to do a little history lesson on them, so cue the creepy music. Flemish giant rabbits are a very old breed of domesticated rabbits and were first bred in Belgium in the 16th century. After domestication, they were transported to North America in the 1890s. Flemish giant rabbits are still prized for their meat and their fur to this day, but are often bred for companionship. The breed received little attention until about 1910 when it started appearing in small livestock shows throughout the country. Today it is one of the more popular breeds of rabbit shows due to its unusually large size and varying colors. It is promoted by the National Federation of Flemish Giant Rabbit Breeders which was formed in 1915. The Flemish Giant has many nicknames the, like the Gentle Giant for its uniquely docile personality and Universal Rabbit for its varied purposes as a pet, show, breed, meat, and fur animal. Okay, now let's talk safety a minute. Now, what we do in our rabbit coop is you, when you set yours up, you need to make sure that this is what you do. See this here? I'm on, I'm on the inside of the coop. Now you do it on here and also do it on the outside. What, what we did is we I think this piece is a four foot piece or four foot wide. So we did two feet on the inside and two feet on the outside. And that keeps them from wanting to dig. Now there's no dig marks inside this, this big coop. But let me show you. You know, this is our rabbit tractor. We just kind of move it around the yard and let them eat grass and stuff. Something we can't do with the big one. But... We don't have it set up the same way as the pen. You see the see the fencing down there? Now with this one, see, they started to dig out there and dig out there. They start, they'll get bored after a while if you leave it for too long to start to try to dig out. So every once in a while, you're going to have to move this, not only to keep them from digging out, but as well as to let them eat grass. Now another benefit of having these Flemish giant rabbits is not only food, fur, and companionship, but also rabbit poop, garden fertilizer. Now if you have these rabbits, be sure you save their poop 
and if you can grind it up or however you got to do it and sprinkle it in your garden it works very well it's better to me it's better than any other fertilizer that you could buy at the store and it's all organic well guys that's going to wrap it up i thank you for tuning in and i hope you found this video informative and i hope that in the future if you get flemish giant rabbits that this will help you and if you have any questions you know contact me let me know write down in the comment section if you have questions if i have the answer i'll let you know and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i love you and i will see you next time If you wonder back again